Teresa Fetter's rise to prominence in the State House in Columbus is as unlikely as it is inspirational. The Judith Herb College of Education's recipient of the 2013 Outstanding Alumna Award is officially State Representative Fetter and previously Senator Fetter. But whatever you call her, know this. Teresa is a powerhouse in Ohio and it's her foundation as a teacher established here at UT that continues to drive her thought process. It hasn't been easy. Teresa's dad, Sonny Taylor, he's holding her, and mom, Loretta, needed diapers, a whole lot of diapers. Teresa is one of seven children. As she puts it, I had a lot of live baby dolls. With a family this large, Teresa knew her parents couldn't afford college. So after graduating from Anthony Wayne High School, she joined the Air Force in 1975 and was assigned to Sacramento, California as a personnel specialist. Teresa returned home three years later with son Jason, joined the Ohio National Guard, and used the GI Bill to become a teacher. Jason saw his mom get her diploma in 1983, as did her sisters Lori and Angie. The next 18 years of Teresa's life were spent in the elementary classroom, primarily with Toledo Public Schools. Her career began to evolve as she got involved with the teachers union to push for more training and resources. Impressed with Teresa's passion, but without telling her, a friend turned her name in to run for state representative in the 52nd District in 2000. It took five months of convincing, but Teresa decided to try because she thought she could make a difference for young people. Running with the slogan, Fetter is better, Loretta's daughter was elected. Amazingly, the Democrat had never been to the State House until she was chosen by voters. Jason's mom is serving her second term in the House, sandwiched around two terms in the Senate. She's introduced legislation to curtail cyberbullying and to create health standards in schools, but is best known for her fight against human trafficking. For years, Toledo had been recognized as one of the worst cities in the country when it came to modern-day sexual slavery. Children were being forced into prostitution. Governor Ted Strickland in 2009 signed her human trafficking legislation into law, which was followed one year later by legislation that made trafficking a standalone second-degree felony. Last year, Governor John Kasich signed her most comprehensive human trafficking bill to date, the Safe Harbor Act, which means that victims won't be jailed. Rowan's grandmother now turns her attention to the End Demand Act, a bill that includes harsher penalties for the solicitation of minors. Still teaching, but in a different classroom, State Representative Teresa Fetter is the Judith Herb College of Education's outstanding alumna.